Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Paredes. Cedar Park police say a 59 year old man is dead after a tragic shooting in the parking lot of a gun show. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joining us live from the Cedar Park Center with the story. Casey, I know a lot still under investigation. Ashley, this parking lot should have been full all day today for the Austin premier gun show. Instead, it's eerily empty after what Cedar Park police just think is a tragic accident. They say a man shot his father in law here in this parking lot last night. Stephen Sheffdahl was a frequent gun show attendee. On Saturday, he went to the Austin premier gun show at Cedar Park Center. It's pretty uneventful. I mean, everybody was calm going in and professional handling the weapons that I saw. So I'm not entirely sure how it even happened. He's referring to a shooting that happened hours after he left. When Cedar Park police got to the scene Saturday around 5, they found 59-year-old John Glover Warden injured from a single gunshot wound. Police say the man from Gerald, Texas, later died at St. David's in Round Rock. The department tells us the shooting happened in a car in the parking lot. Warden's son-in-law, Jared Pretty from Euless, was, quote, manipulating the firearm after reloading it. If guns made you safer, no one would ever get shot accidentally. And that's exactly what happened here yesterday. Democratic consultant Jason Stanford says he supports expanded background checks and even background checks to enter a gun show. Some people say guns don't kill people. It's uh, people kill, the, the person pulling the trigger does. They can kill you a lot easier with a gun. And what we need is for gun owners to take it upon themselves to work with us to be safer on this. Because right now, the status quo sure ain't working. Michael Cargill is the owner of Central Texas Gun Works and a licensed handgun instructor. He realizes gun control advocates are speaking out on this. And I know all the naysayers are going to come out and they're going to say, I told you so. This is not I told you so. This is not I got gotcha. you. Uh, this is no different than this little incident we just saw a day or so ago where two kids were ejected from a vehicle because they weren't wearing a seat belt. Um, we don't blame the vehicle for that incident, so we're not going to blame the guns for this incident. Cargill says the shooter obviously didn't follow basic gun safety rules. So I'm going to remove the magazine from the handgun. This is a, there's a loaded magazine in here, okay? Lock the slide to the rear, observe the chamber. There's no round the chamber. It's an empty magazine. I'm going to keep my finger off the trigger. I'm not going to point the gun at you because I'm showing you the gun. I'm going to point it in a safe direction. Do not point that gun at anything you do not intend to kill or destroy. And in a statement, the Cedar Park Center says all of us here are deeply saddened by this tragic event. Right now, there are more questions than answers, and we in our security department are doing everything possible to assist the Cedar Park Police Department in their investigation. And again, Cedar Park Police say they don't think this was intentional. But if you do have any information on this, please call Cedar Park Police. In the meantime, this gun show that was supposed to take place today has been rescheduled for August. Ashley. A very unfortunate event. Thank you, Casey.